Welcome to The Journey. I'm Senior Pastor Scott Smoke. This past Sunday, we finished our Be Like Jesus sermon series in which we looked at practical ways how we can live out our faith, how our lives and others and the world can be transformed by living in the way of Jesus. We looked at how we can be considerate of others, how we can show respect for one another, that we might clean up our own mess so someone else doesn't have to do that. We talked about being patient, uh, that if we're at a stoplight and the car before us, as the light turns green, we're not laying on the horn to get it to move fast, but that we take a pause and a moment to think through and maybe have a little prayer and realize that we're living in God's time, and in God's time, all things are possible. We also talked about how we can use our words and be kind and considerate to others. And so this is a way that we can live. It's very practical, it's something we can do, and it's something you can do as well. Let's go to our scripture for this week. It comes from Ephesians 2, verses 4 through 6. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If God has shown us mercy, then we should show others mercy. We should show grace to people. We, we always are making mistakes. We don't always do what we're supposed to do. And so many times in the world's eyes, we fail. But God shows us grace and loves us and welcomes us back. Wouldn't it be a great way to be considerate to others is to show people grace when maybe they don't live quite up to your expectations, but you forgive them and say, you know, I'm going to give this person another chance. That's a great way to be transformed because not only is your life transformed, their life is transformed because you've shown this grace. Let's go to our quote for this week. All the grace contained in the Bible is owing to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And unless we consent to him as our Lord, we cannot expect any benefit by him as our Savior. Trusting and believing in Jesus. We've talked about the, the sermon series on being like Jesus, so that if we can be like Jesus and we can trust like Jesus, this grace that will be abound all in us and around us, and that he will be our Lord and Savior. We turn our back on him. Why is he going to want to be with us? He still does want to be with us, and even there's nothing we can do to have him not want to be with us, but it makes sense for us to, to want to, to learn and to, to follow him. You know, Jesus says, follow me. So we need to follow him into the world, just as he walked the countryside, as he spoke in parables, as he healed, as he broke bread with his disciples. We too can do these things. We have to remember that it's an important part of, of discipleship that we follow. But then he also says go, go into the world, right? To transform the world so that our lives are transformed in Christ and then we ourselves can make this transformation happen, Christ through us and into the world as we live more and are like Christ. Trinity is a church that connects and grows and serves. We connect with God and one another so that we might grow into who God has called us to be, so we might serve boldly with love and grace. That is who we are. I pray that you might show grace this week. You might be considerate to one another. Be patient, be kind in speech, and have a great week. God bless.